Let's take a look at one of the key components of the rail system, the train junctions, which are also called interlockings. A lone tower sits above a busy intersection of tracks. This is Tower 18 at the junction of Lake and Wells. The people in this tower control the complex flow of trains through Chicago's loop. In the rush hours, we can see trains as often as every 30 to 45 seconds going through the junction here. And it's, it's considered to be one of the busiest railroad junctions in, in, in the United States. So we take a lot of pride in that. Five of the CTA's eight lines converge here. Pink, green, purple, orange, and brown. Tower operators determine which trains go on which tracks and when. Tower 18 was completely rebuilt as part of the loop signal project. The steel, the track that the trains run on was not new, but everything else, the machines that throw the switches are new, the signals that allow the operator to proceed uh, are brand new. They're using a new technology, an LED technology. This is a control room next to Tower 18. It is the electronic nerve center of the junction. And we have over 100 equipment racks in this room. Uh, each with a lot of control devices that allow decisions to be made automatically as to whether a train can proceed through the junction or not. A control panel, almost identical to one in the tower itself, supplements the panel inside the tower. The red lines indicate that we actually have a train at this position actually coming across the Lake Street Bridge toward the junction, down Lake Street. The white lines indicate that he has a route clear ahead of him. The route is locked so that no other train can try to proceed across or converge into him, and the train will now proceed through the junction. As the red lights progress, the train is actually moving through the junction. Tower operators also rely on what they see from their windows and what cameras relay to their monitors. This is the Clark Tower. This junction is less busy than the interlockings overseen by Tower 18, but it's still busy. I use the monitors to see what's coming. I look at the panel to see what's coming. Sometimes I look out the window to look at the marker lights. There are colored lights on the train that let you know what destination the train has. We have the red line, the purple line during the rush, and the brown line trains, north and southbound. Electronically, I'm switching the tracks. I'm moving trains from one track to the other. Down track one, in rail to midway. Our tower's simple. Tower operators work as train operators before training for tower duty. He has to know where the train is going and which route to give him and this and that. So he has to know all the rules and everything that an operator will have to know. And tower operators also have to climb multiple sets of stairs each day. It's good exercise. But there are no complaints here. This is one of the best jobs at the company. I love my job. I do. I really love my job. The dedication of tower operators combined with electronic and infrastructure upgrades at critical junctions ensure safe and reliable travel along the CTA rail system, a system that delivers more than 200 million rides a year. If you didn't notice all the work being done on the train control systems, that was by design. The majority of the work took place on weekends and overnights to minimize the impact on CTA customers.